What's going on, everyone? Everyone, Shane here. Uh, we're doing another quick little YouTube video. Just wanted to bring this to light. This is a situation that's uh, very interesting to me. Um, now, this is not the first time something like this has happened. It won't be the last time, guarantee it. But I wanted to bring in some light and uh, get some of your guys' opinions on some things. And uh, if you guys had similar situations, let me know. So what happened earlier today was I got a message from a buyer from eBay regarding an item I sold them. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that message. Now, I didn't put the eBay's buyer's name or any, you know, information that could be used. But essentially, the person stated that this item is a used item, not an open-the-box item. He's saying that the item is dirty on the bottom. He then goes on to give me the definition of what eBay's policies on open boxes. Um, so then he goes on and believes that he can keep the item if I return it. I would give him a partial refund for $12, or he could just return the item. Now this item in particular does not have a return policy, so let's take a look at that. The item in regard we're talking about is this Apple wireless keyboard now this keyboard if we take a look at it is in really good condition the box is still in really good condition i cleaned it i tested it made sure everything looks good now here's the said item now here's the front of it it's clean it looks clean it looks brand new it is and here's the bottom this is what he's regarding that the bottom is dirty I don't see any dirt, blemishes, any issues or problems with said item. Uh, not exactly sure where or what he's referring to. Um, so, let's go. So, when he made this accusation, he didn't give me any proof or pictures. He just made an accusation stating that it's dirty. Now, no offense when I'm trying to get a return or I believe something's not broken. If they want evidence, I have no issues or problems showing them, hey, the sign's broken. This is what's going on. It's not working. Um, eBay has no policy, uh, uh, no videos on them, but they do do pictures. So it's a main concern for me when I get messages like this in regards to one of my items, when clearly the items are in really clean condition. Like, they are, as stated, open box, which is the item is in excellent new condition with no wear. The pictures clearly state and show that. Um, the original package is with it, and uh, there is no wrapping and or. Um, but he also negates a portion of uh, eBay's open box definition which i liked he negated that but um that's hearsay so what am i going to do about the situation now i can message him back and state i believe you're wrong here's the pictures why this is what i believe you're trying to do and i disagree with it or i could just do a partial refund for twelve dollars why twelve dollars i don't know he just believes that his item is i think i sold it for Forty-four ninety-nine. So he believes his this item is only worth, you know, thirty-two dollars, thirty-two ninety-nine. I don't. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm not going to do neither of those. What have I decided to do? Is essentially not message them them back, uh, because. Of the coronavirus and everything that's going on today, or this, this month, and you know, hopefully not longer than that. Um, I can't contact eBay because eBay has no one inside their call centers, so they have their online that I can message at. But what I decide to do is go a different route, and I want to know their other people's opinion regarding this item. So what have I done? I went ahead and. I posted it on eBay's um, uh, communication website, and I just posted 
what the item was, you know, how long it was, how long he's had it. This this customer has had this item for three weeks now when it was delivered. Now it's just dirty? I, I mean, come on, in three weeks, I have no clue how you take care of your stuff. It could be dirty. It could be gone. You could be ruining it. I, it's unacceptable. So I just go on to post exactly what I've already told you guys, that this item, you know, has no return policy. And I believe that the buyer is making unreasonable dance and trying to get a partial refund. Um, and and, and the, the thing is, I've had this customer in particular and another return. And when I got the return, it was the wrong item. Now, these guys have respectable feedback. They have one to two thousand uh, two thousand feedback communications, and they're mostly all positive. It's crazy to me to think that people on this range and scale are doing the exact same thing that most of the time you would consider small, cheap people would be doing. And that's making these acquisitions. So I decided to post it up and get people's, uh, uh, you know, uh, opinions on the situation from large sellers to people. And I just wanted to know if I'm being unreasonable. The situation, I, I personally believe that this guy is, or this person, this buyer is making unreasonable demands, trying to get a partial refund. Um, and I'd like to see what your guys' opinions are. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. If you guys had similar situations, post them up. You can come to the um, forum link right up here. Um, it's called, Is This Buyer Making Unreasonable Demands? Um, you can take a look. Let me know, see what your opinions, what you usually do. This person actually does a message. He sends it back and says, hey, I'm sorry. You're unhappy with the purchase. Please return this item for a full refund. I, I've done that. I have no issues with that. Um, the biggest issue is when they demand and or state something with no evidence to prove. I, I'm not going to give you your money back just because you want more money. For return, you you don't want to pay as much as you did. Uh, most of the time, this guy says that he has no, uh, you know, he doesn't really hear from him again. And then we can. I just wanted to know what other people's opinions, what they think, and uh, I'll go from there. So, the gentleman and or person and buyer regarding the situation. This is this is unacceptable for someone that has almost 1,681 feedback and supposedly a top-rated seller. This is this is this is underlying bullshit, in my opinion. This is this is what eBay has issues and problems with that they need to nip in the butt. They need to fix. They got to figure this out. I believe I should be able to show videos of me packing these items or when the returns come in looking at the items and, and and even when I've done this before and sent a reasonable understandable message to eBay regarding this, the returns with pictures with evidence and making a statement the funny thing is it automatically goes through and it always goes with the the, the buyer on the return and I'm always like well, why that doesn't make any sense I've given proven and given substantial evidence to prove my points for returns, and it nothing happens. I have to pay out of pocket for the return label. They send it back to me, and then there goes that that situation just because they have buyer's remorse or they want it cheaper or some garbage bullshit like that. Now, I'm trying to figure out better ways to fix and, you know, um, mitigate this situations from happening. One of my ideas is potentially with items such as this keyboard. The one thing about this keyboard is that you can't see it. Let's go to the next picture. They do have model numbers, but this particular item, I'm not sure if the ID matches or there's specific ID numbers or serial numbers on this. The box has um, specific serial numbers and ID numbers, but I don't know if the said model of the actual keyboards do. 
So that's one way to mitigate situations for bad returns or improper item returns is making sure that you take pictures and or add it in your description of said serial numbers and keys on those items. Because then you can dispute and say, hey, I did not get the proper item. This item is not the proper item. It's a different item. It's broken. This is not what I you know, sold to the customer. They're trying to cheat me out of my money. Um, another idea I've had is stuff that doesn't have those serial numbers and specific ID identification um, situations is maybe I'd make my own. Um, I can and have thought about potentially making little tiny stickers of my logo, um, Vinox's item shop, and potentially putting stickers inside said items or opening them up and, and doing it that way. So I have some identification and markers to prove that the item that I get back is mine. Um, for example, let's say you're giving, um, you're selling someone a We'll just use my eBay. Here's an example. Selling someone right here a Sony PlayStation 1 controller. Now, these controllers don't have any serial numbers or ports to specify, you know, if there's specific serial numbers or anything. So, what if I can just take this apart really quick, put a little sticker underneath the plastic of my uh, logo or something, you know, even a dot, who knows? Um, some board manufacturers and refurbishers do do this with uh, serial numbers or stickers, which I think is a brilliant idea to help mitigate people trying to steal and change your item. So I thought about it. That's an idea. Um, I mean, what do you guys think? Have, do you do anything similar to what I've talked about? Have you tried to mitigate and talk to eBay? Personally, in my own opinion, it's always automated and I have to fight my way through it. And then when the automation already goes through and eBay doesn't even look at it when someone's supposed to, it's, you, you can't get it fixed. You can't get it changed. It's already happened. They don't do anything. So I'm trying different ways to see what the best results are is see if I can get actual communication with eBay, either regarding their email services, um, posting on their communication and forums, and they do have um, a new communication return policy because of the coronavirus, seeing if that actually works. Now, it'd be great if someone actually sat down and looked at a fucking claim and, and looked at the evidence and the supporting evidence and the disagreements and make a, a decent decision, not just let it automatically go. No, on eBay's point and, you know, a large corporation they are, they don't really care. Um, it's the buyers that have to eat it and have to deal with it. And they always tell you, oh, why don't you just communicate with the customer or the buyer? Yeah, let me communicate to the person that's trying to steal stuff from me. They don't care. They don't give a shit. All they care about is either making their money back or keeping the item. And they don't care. You're telling me to communicate to someone that's trying to steal from me. That's always done well. That's always great. Even if I return a message stating everything I stated, believing that they're full of shit and they're trying to make, you know, false claims, what are they going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. I definitely am doing that. I, I didn't mean to bully you around. Fuck no, they're not. They're not going to They're not gonna admit to their own admission. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> they're going to try to pull you more and they're going to make a false return poll return claim even though you have no return policies they're going to say that it wasn't as described which is not true the pictures and everything in said description is correct there's it's it's been tested manuals not inclusive and its case is in great condition it is it's in great condition or and opened boxed item and again Making false claims to try to make money back. It's kind of it's kind of deplorable for someone that has as much, you know, communication and great customer service like uh, this individual to do this. Um, if 
I feel kind of bad for them. Um, if they're hurting so much to make just $12 in return for their item that they bought, are they hurting that much? I know we're in a situation that um, some of us don't really want to be in, so maybe doing these tactics to try to get by is a thing, but I believe that if you're hurting that much and you're trying to make $12 back, it's kind of sad, and it's sucks and i wouldn't recommend it if your business isn't doing well enough to sustain its own sustainability that's not a business that's falling on your face and losing so like i said let me guys know what you think if you think i'm being unreasonable you can go to the community you can go to the community website put it under i'm being a jackass you're being unreasonable this person just asked for 12 dollars you can Message me on Facebook. You can message me on Instagram or Twitter. You can send me angry tweets all you want. Let me know. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.